here from the fashion culture so I'm so happy because in my last video I couldn't see myself if you haven't already definitely go check out my no mirror makeup challenge but this video is totally different um I really wanted to do a review on my Christian Louboutin Silk Kate's 120 millimeter um I love them so much but we all know they're like one of the most uncomfortable shoes so if you guys are interested in knowing my opinions on the Christian Louboutin so cakes and please keep on watching okay so I purchased these a few months ago um, back around like prom season because I really wanted these for prom so um, I purchased these from the Saks Fifth Avenue on Fifth Ave in New York City um, and this was just the bag that it came in just you know a regular Christian Louboutin bag and on the inside just spread like these shoes so pretty simple um and this is the box that it came in this is not really an unboxing because I obviously had these shoes for months and I wore them twice so um this is the box that it came in it's pretty simple and then right here it just says the size and what um what's the name of the shoe so obviously it's the silkate and patent leather 120 miller um 120 millimeters and it says go a half size down that is not true but we'll talk about that in a minute so what it looks like so that's that and then you know in the box it comes with all this tissue paper um and then it just comes with one dust bag if i'm correct most of the classic regular shoes you know the simple ones come with one dust bag and then if it has like a certain type of leather or like spikes or something it comes with two so yeah this is the dust bag and these are my babies. So the Christian Louboutin patent leather so case in 120 millimeters. So this is what they look like. So you have to excuse my shoes. They are a little bit dirty, but this is what they look like on the inside. Okay, so like I told you guys, I purchased them from Saks. And the Saks on 5th app actually has like a Christian Louboutin boutique inside the store. Um, the lady was really nice and helpful. I told her, you know, what I wanted them for. And she gave me her opinion. And then I was thinking about going with the Pagals. But I actually went with these. Um, and this was the last size for me. So I kind of looked up. And I was like, I don't think, you know, these are my size. Like, they're really small. And she was like, honey these are your size they're just really narrow and you have wide feet and also these shoes are like narrow like she said and very uncomfortable so um that's just the way it is and also my sh my feet were like kind of hanging out she was like no honey um he is made Christian Louboutin is known for his um shoe cleavage so personally wear like an eight and a half slash nine in U.S. sizes on a regular basis technically at 38 and a half to a 39 but these are a 39 and a half which basically means in u.s sizes they're a nine and a half 40 um a nine and a half 10 and um that is like super crazy on here at the box as you saw it said go a half size down that is not true i feel like even if you have a uh, regular feet they're not you know super wide like mine then definitely still go a size or a half a size up um i watched so many reviews and they all said the same thing these shoes are just super narrow and then like 120 millimeters transforms to not transforms but converts to um five inches so these are a five inch heel no platform you definitely need to go a size up just for comfort when i was getting my shoes another lady was in a boutique and she was trying these exact same ones on in black and she was saying the same thing like these hurt so bad these are not my size and like why is my toe hanging out and we were like kind of saying the same thing at the same time but that's just how it is like these are your size you just have to break them in so um that's exactly what I did 
I kind of like broke mine in a little bit. I walked around the house a little bit uh, and it still was hurting. So I googled how to stretch Christian Louboutins and I found a YouTuber. I don't know her name by heart but I would definitely leave the video that I watched down below. So basically you put on a whole bunch of socks and then you just blow dry the shoes and it did widen the shoe up a little bit but they're still they still really do hurt. Um, so I'm really happy that it widened the shoe up because at first it hurt like it was just tight, like super tight, and now they just hurt. Um, so now it's not as tight, but yeah, so basically just to stretch leather, you just need to like heat them up after your foot is in the shoes so you can mold the leather to your foot. Um, I wore these to prom and graduation, and I didn't last more than 20 minutes and at both of those events. For prom, I wore them, you know, to take pictures outside. When I came back inside, I took the shoes off, and then... Um, when I went to the event, I had to, you know, walk into the building, I put them on and then I was walking around mingling and I had them on for about 25 minutes and then I took them off. And that was it for the rest of the night. I did not wear them because they're, these are not shoes you walk around in. These are not, these are like for show shoes. Like if you're going to wear these, make sure you're going to a, an event where you're sitting down majority of the time because you're not going to survive. I'm just being honest with you guys. Like these shoes hurt so bad. And then for graduation, what I did was I wore them to walk in, you know, as we were walking in. And then as soon as I got to my seat, I took them off. And then when we had to line up, like my row had to line up again, I put them on, walked across the stage, and then I kept them on for the rest of the night because, um, yeah, because I'm pretty much the last row. So, yeah, they hurt really bad. Um, I do not regret buying them. Uh, just to let you guys know they were $675. Since I brought them in New York, it was a little bit of tax on them, so I probably paid like $700. Um, I really don't know where my receipt is. I think it might be in my purse, but um, I don't regret buying them at all. I think they are worth the money because they're a classic shoe, and they're so sexy. You honestly, if you can stand it, you definitely can wear these to work. You can wear these clubbing. You can dress them down if you can walk in them. Um, well, walking in them is not hard. It's not the height it's just the the way the shoe is made that really hurts. Um, so you, they're very versatile, honestly. And I think the patent leather is definitely the way to go. I mean, the suede is beautiful and the regular leather, but the patent leather just looks so sexy and chic. So I definitely want a pair of the black ones. I'm definitely not going to buy them, though, because I barely wear these. So what's the point of having two shoes that you barely wear? I do definitely want to get another pair of Christian Louboutins um, in the near future. Um, but definitely probably like the daffodils or the pagals because I tried the pagals on and they don't hurt as bad as these. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend if you are looking into buying a pair of Soakates or Christian Louboutins at all, just definitely, you know, do your research. Um, make sure you try them on. I wouldn't order them and then try them on. I would definitely try to go to a local boutique or ask someone, you know, who might have a pair that is very similar to you, um, you know, how they fit. Definitely do your research before you buy them. They are worth it, but you just have to make sure you're willing to spend money on shoes you might not wear it as much. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I just wanted to do a small review, nothing, you know, super detailed. I think I threw a lot of key points in there, but if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Stay fab. Bye, dolls.